Hello, hello everybody. Had the nicest day out here today. A little bit of breeze, but beautiful, beautiful. I had a question on my channel the other night. One of our uh, YouTube friends asked me if he should switch carburetors because he has a double pump on the car, double pump carburetor, and he wanted to know if he should put a vacuum secondary carburetor on his vehicle. Well, there would only be one reason to do that, and that would be for drivability purposes. But he asked me that question for a reason that I have to address. And it's because his car is spinning. He can only get it half throttle, he said. So I don't know what he has going on as far as a suspension in the car. But you should never have to, have to detune an engine unless you're making some kind of outrageous horsepower. 302 base, you want as much as you can get out of them when you're, when you're racing. So I don't know if it's a show car and it's getting on his nerves because it's spinning the tires and there are stock tires. I don't know the reason behind it. But I will say this. Drivability purposes only is when you should have to switch carburetors, not for traction. As a matter of fact, a, a vacuum secondary carburetor very well, and some guys are going to disagree with this, but it could be more aggressive than the double pump, depending how that double pump carburetor is set up. A lot of times a double pump carburetor will actually be a little bit lazier than a vacuum secondary carburetor. So that aside, my friend, you want to concentrate on suspension, is what it sounds like to me. And I don't know if you have anything done already with your suspension, but that's where you want to go. Especially being as you told me you have a 3000 stall or a 3500 stall converter. So you don't want to detune your engine, in my opinion. I surely wouldn't. So, anyway, there's several ways of correcting that problem and as soon as I get my glasses on here where I can see what I'm doing we'll address that and uh, these springs right here are a good way to go now these aren't the ones that I recommend because they're for a different thing altogether but they make a spring that's stiffer and it's shorter for the passenger side and the tension on the springs are a little bit different and that's because one spring is cut shorter than the other spring so that helps out so here's something I don't recommend right here now this is what I used to do and it didn't cost me anything I had a car it wouldn't hook so what I did took the old block of wood here jacked the car up and pounded the old board into the spring and sometimes I put some nails so it couldn't fly out but usually the weight of the vehicle the way I did it I would make sure it was secure in there so it wouldn't fly out down the track or fly out going down the highway and hit some poor soul behind me or somebody walking along the road. But here's another way. Adjustable shops. And your spring rate, and there's a lot of factors that go into suspension. I have, uh, I believe, Lakewood traction bars on this and they're not the best ones to go with but they're what i wanted and that's what's on the car so i guess still i run this little segment out there and i have polyurethane bushings in this rear they're not steel because i didn't want i didn't want how solid the uh aluminum bushings are when you go to these other type bushings it's very hard 
to get the rear to go in sometimes. So you want to have a buddy with you in most cases, unless you're familiar how to do this uh, kind of stuff. But uh, the rear just don't have a lot of forgiving. Uh, well, I'll put it to this way. You need the rear to be able to have a little bit of give to it when you're lining the bolts up. And the stiffer that is, the less you have to uh, play with. I'll put it to you that way. But uh, this rear gave me a hard time when I put this brace bar on it. And um, I had to have a buggy help me with it. So you can see adjustable shops. And to be honest, this car has never been played with as far as the suspension goes. It hasn't had a a real good chance. It hasn't been out enough. The car sits more than it, it does anything. I think that's going to change. I was getting ready to take this car apart. And... Uh, I wanted to put the engine back in to the other car where it belongs. It belongs in the green car, the one we call the Green Gangster. My car don't have a cage on it, so it's kind of a waste. But uh, I discussed a couple things with my son, and he wants to get the car tuned in a little bit better before we take it apart. So that's the that's plan. We'll see. Uh, my plans are not going according to plans. So, uh, guys, try to overlook when I stumble a little bit on here. I lose my train of thought sometimes and all the time. But uh, I hope I make my point when it comes down to the nitty gritty, not looking all uh, the blunders. I hope I at least say, okay, Terry made his point after all the... Uh, well, trying to find the right words. And I try to think on the verge of how somebody will understand it. I try not to be technical. And that's easy for me because I'm not a technical guy. So, you'd think it'd be easy, but I'm trying to do things where anybody that watches what I say or do, they understand it at least or somewhat at least because I do do things different than a lot of people do so that being said you can spend all the amount of money you want in the making a car hook but see when somebody asks me a question like that I don't know if the guy's going racing I don't know if it's just a car show car I don't know if he bought a car already done and it makes power and is spinning the tires off after he tries to just maybe pull out. They're all factors I don't know. So guys, when you drop me a little line or ask me a question, try to give me a little bit of idea of what you're doing with the vehicle because that would help me kind of cut to the chase a little bit. And because uh, I always want to make sure I give you the best information that I have. I surely don't want to sell you short it's hard enough getting a vehicle to run the way that it should sometimes without somebody telling you the wrong information so that's the last thing i want to do guys but anyway i'm gonna cut this short because i have about five things to do here and i'll be lucky if i get any of them done and that's just how i go about it. I, I do five things but <laughs> nothing gets accomplished yet, usually <laughs> I'll be busy, but nothing happens. <laughs> but uh, anyway, fellas, hope this is helpful. Thank you for asking your questions, and I appreciate that, that you respect my opinion. So I want to throw that in there. But anyway, thank you, fellas. I appreciate it, and I uh, always want to take time to tell you that. Have a good day. Wonder again, guys. Have a good day. God bless you.